the end. We'll start with Joe Smith, the athletic. Hey, Nikita. Obviously, you guys have said a bunch of times you feel like you know Vasilevsky is the best goalie in the world and I just curious from you playing with him for so so long just what makes him special in your mind from, from other goalies that you faced and when was the first time you noticed that he was kind of something different oh just <clears throat> his work ethic I think it's on a different level and his compete compete level as uh, as high as it can be and you know, he works all the time on his skill and, you know, he's always in the gym first. He's always before and after practice there and he works on something that's going to make him better and, you know, it, and he does. So it's not a surprise for me. I remember him since since I was 16, 15. He's, he's been always the guy that, you know, cares about the game and he wants to be better and he wants to be number one. And as we can see, he is. Ed, Ed Encina, Tampa Bay Times. Yanni, we, we were talking earlier to, to Stan, Steven, and he said that, you know, you, from day one since you joined this team that you kind of always had that dog, you know, dog on the bone mentality kind of, you know, how much of just your, your journey and just how hard you had to fight to get to this point uh, is, is, is a part of that, but the, the way you play and the way you've always played? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's how I, I've always played uh, in junior and the minor and uh, coming up here and that's, that's, uh, that's why they gave me a shot because um, I uh, I'm, I'm relentless. I I try to uh, play hard every single night. I try to be consistent in what I do, and um, that's how I got my first NHL shot. And uh, I tried to bring that same energy, same uh, um, same way I play every single night. And um, uh, so it's been I mean it's been working. I'm still around. So. Tom Galitti, NHL.com. Nikita, how, how fun or how, how much does it help just to have, have Steven Stamkos around and help you this time around? Like, you know, he only got to play very basically one period last year in the Stanley Cup final. It, just what kind of impact has he been able to have? And have you seen him enjoying this 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 time around? Uh, he's been phenomenal. He's a great leader, and we all always knew that. And uh, last year in the playoff, the one period he played was uh, a huge boost for us. Uh, but uh, this year, every single night we have him, uh, his, um, his leadership is just great. Uh, and uh, the way he plays the game, uh, it's, it's, uh, it brings the, the team together. And, and the way he does everything, sing every single night, uh, doing the right thing, uh, shooting the puck, uh, it just gives us a lift. And uh, it's, it's phenomenal to have us with us uh, and during this uh, playoff run. Jay Retro 95.3. Yanni, I wanted to ask you about your line. Uh, you guys have been, had some real good success. What makes your line tick so well, and how, how much does it mean when the coach puts you out there first to start the period, whether it's home or away? Uh, I think it's uh, to set, set the tone early in the game and uh, in the periods. Uh, um, be predictable, chip, chip the puck in, uh, go to work, have a good forecheck, uh, maybe have an ozone shift. Uh, all we like, we we're a predictable uh, line, and we uh, that's what that's how we have success. We uh, we bring pucks to the net, uh, we crush the net, we uh, we have a net front, so it's all that predictable stuff. And um, I mean, it, it is we know each other so well, so by now, so we've been playing it along each other for a while, so uh, it just makes my job easy uh, playing with these guys. Andrew Ardini, NHL.com. Nikita, just wondering, uh, going up against the team in Montreal that's had so much success in, in stopping top lines, top six, what goes into your preparation for, for facing that kind of team? Well, we, we have the system, right? We have coaches. They, they tell us what to do, and we believe in what they say. And if we're going to do this for 60 minutes, I think we're going to have good chances. And we try not think a lot about them. We try to think about our game first. And, you know, if we do the, the things right, we're going to have a good chance. Mark Antoine Gold in the Athletic. Question mark. No, I'm good. Sorry, my my hand was raised from previously. I'm sorry. No problem. Joe, we'll go back to you if you have a follow up. Nikita, I know you said the other night that there was no question or doubt in your mind you were going to play the other night. Um, I guess how do you feel 
afterwards overall from that? And would you feel like you were limited at all by that injury or is it kind of already moved past it at this point? There was no injury. I don't know what you're talking about. And I felt good and there was no question if I'm going to play or not. So I felt good. Paul Strzewski, NHL.com. Hi, Nikita. Uh, you previously talked about Vasilevsky being the best goalie in the world. A bunch of guys did, probably rightfully so. Now you're facing a team in Montreal that has uh, Carey Price that has probably done just about as well as Vasi has done so far. Uh, what do you think, what do you feel makes him so special for Montreal? And uh, how do you feel about the challenge of facing him, putting some pucks past You know, he's the guy and he's, he's been there for a long time. He's been the top goalie for a long time and, you know, he's a great goalie and it's a good challenge for us. And, um, you know, we, we got to compete and we, we got to take his eyes away and, you know, shoot by him. And, you know, we, we, we have to make sure we make it tough on him. So, you know, it, there's a lot of great goalies in the league. So we have to find a way. We have no more hands for English. So Nikita, you can be excused.